yeah welcome back for another video i am adrian renee if you're new here hey if you're not new here what's up so today we are going to do five quick easy styles for your medium box braids because my hair looks crazy if you can't tell i don't know um maybe it's not picking up on camera i'd be really happy if it's not we're gonna do five quick and easy hairstyles no bobby pins um needed i have I have rubber bands right here that I'm gonna use. Um, this is a black castor oil. And then I got these um, Ouchless scrunchies just in case I need these. We'll see because we're not using bobby pins because bobby pins hurt sometimes and it's not necessary. If you're interested in seeing five quick and easy hairstyles with zero bobby pins, then keep on watching. I want to point out that you want your braids to be a certain length um, to not use bobby pins. If your braids aren't a certain length, then you're going to need bobby pins because you're not going to be able to do what I do without bobby pins if your braids aren't long enough. Let's get into this. All right, so our first style is going to be um, we're going to do <laughs> we're going to do a crown braid, but a crown twist so, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna split your hair whichever side you want your part on either this side this side if you want to straight down the middle so split your hair down the middle I'm gonna turn around like I said my braids look crazy I know they do or the roots do my braids look great the roots look a little rough because it's been a minute since I installed these um, but I'm gonna turn around and show you what the back looks like so you split it like that and then again very similar so you can you can braid or twist for purposes of this video and I'm gonna twist because I don't have the energy to braid right now um, and you're just gonna take two or three at a time and you're gonna go this way and then you're gonna pull these back for people whose edges look like mine you want to pull the ones that are in the front to the back um, because you could you could do it differently, but you want to make sure that you're making it as taut as possible. I pull my lock in here because there's no need for it to be out. So, with this style, there's a couple different styles within this style, okay? So, what I'm going to do... Just take two rubber bands and I'm just gonna do it once. And that's why you need to have um, longer braids because as I mentioned, right? It's like no bobby pin, it's just a bun. Um, if you're doing this for like purposes of going out, then I would encourage you to put a rubber band around that uh, bun so that it definitely stays in. Cause nothing's worse than having a unraveling bun. And so for me, because there are a lot of braids, you, if you want your buns to be more like, I guess, Mickey Mouse, then by all means, let them kind of sit up like this, but I want them to be a little not like that. Yeah, so I would do this, you do your edges, sorry, <laughs> um, do your edges, which I'm not gonna do. So this is, you could even put like some jewels in your hair. This could even be like a wedding style, right? For like your locks or something, but like a little, like a thin little, like silver or some type of headband. So the buns are the look. Also, 
just put this into a ponytail, right? So it's like some days you do a style on your hair, right? And then that style is still in the next morning and maybe you don't want to look the exact same we did yesterday. So then you take that style down and you can just put it into a ponytail, all right? Style number two. I think all five of these styles you can do no bobby pins and four rubber bands you can get a whole bunch of different styles all right so we're actually going to double this one so I mean if you wanted to rock it like this you can And these actually will stay without a bobby pin, so it's not even like, it's not moving. You can do this for style too, like so you can wear them down, you can braid them and twist them. I'm, yeah, you can braid them and wrap them around. You can twist them and wrap them around. Um, braiding is a tad bit more bulky, so it's going to make you being able to make sure that they're actually going to stay no matter what you do a little harder. Um, and if you wanted to jazz this up, you could also put rollers on your twist or you could do um, a hanging bantu knot. So you could do this with or without the tendrils, you know. No big deal, do what you want. So this is kind of a third style, but this isn't the third style, but maybe it might be. You're gonna need four more rubber bands for this one though. You don't actually need the rubber bands, but I just feel like for me, the rubber bands make it to where you know the style, like the this part is gonna stay taut. So this one's a little smaller because as y'all saw, there's more braids on this side. So you can do four, you can do five, you can do six. You can do a lot of, you can do bantu knots basically. And then leave these down, put them up, put them, put a little uh, palm rod, flexi rod, whatever on them, you know, spread some first. And then you could even put rubber bands on the ends of these and wear it like this which let's try that okay we're gonna do a half up half down stitch And you can either use rubber bands or I'm gonna use a hair tie. And then we're gonna actually leave these in from the last style that wasn't a style. But this is style four. Well, what I'm actually gonna do 
is make this twist a little bit tighter and we're going to That's again just to add a little jazzy to an otherwise very regular bun. But if you're like me and you forget to do this before you pull the before you pull all your hair up and hold on to your bun. So this would be style four with these hanging. You probably don't have a lock like I do, so that's just lock, lock just does what she wants. Of course, do your edges, please. Don't be like me, do your edges. All right, and for our last style, which again, all these styles are super easy to take down. Okay, so our last style, this one's gonna be a whole bunch of styles in one, like the first one was, and the second one. All of them, I think, have had a couple styles in one. So this is a five style video, but you're getting more than five styles. Um, but so for our last style, maybe you're in a mad rush, like you woke up and you need to leave your house in 15 minutes and you don't have a baby, okay? <laughs> um, you need to leave your house in 20 minutes and you do have a baby, I got you. So what we're gonna do is now for this one, again, multiple variations. So you can take three or you can take two to do a twist. I'm gonna do braids this time around. And take three on this side. this hair down in the description box as well because it's true to color and they have a lot of different colors so you have these two and you got all this loose hair in the back you can't find a hair tie you can't find nothing you're just losing your mind because you gotta go you took all your time to get your baby ready so now what you're gonna do is literally you're gonna take these and you're gonna put them in the back now if by some blessing from the stars you have a rubber band put rubber band in call it day Okay, but if you don't, do a knot. Now, if you're comfortable with this one, just do one knot. It should stay, because it's braided. As long as you braid your braids tight enough so that they're more um, bulky, you can just do the single. You can do the, and you feel secure. Everything's secure. And then, you know, there you go. Leave, get out the house. You can even do this in the car at the stop sign. Okay, stop sign, stop light while you're in the parking lot, um, lot about to go into work. Uh, once you walk into work and then, you know, you go to the bathroom real quick. You can do it. a whole bunch of different ways, times you can do this. You can do this one. You can do a double knot, which that makes sure that it stays for sure. And then this piece that usually sticks up, just put, tuck her under and pull her out. Okay. And then you got that. It's like you tried, but you didn't, right? You can also leave them braided like this, you know, for a little, a little whatever you want to have in the front, okay? You can also, again, this works with the braid or the twist. In that other style, if the braid comes unraveled, it's fine because you've already tied the part that's braided still, so it's not going to unbraid. Now you can you can do a one-sided crown braid so you have a braid like this do your edges please <laughs> or you can and again make sure you hold the braid in a manner that's not pulling on your edges you can do it like this especially if you don't have um, a bobby pin or a rubber band or something because then see this you can tie it in the back again and then there you go all right, you got you a little, a cute little situation. You didn't use any bobby pins, any rubber bands, nothing. You can also do that. And then if you do have a ponytail holder, see it's loose because I didn't pull, <laughs> forgot to pull it up. 
do it twice. I don't play doing it twice right now. But there's that. Have a little, you know. Okay. Um, and this one, because you have the ones in the front, you know, so the one that's over here, make sure when you do pull in a point so you, you have it, you have the end of it. And then this one over here, when you pull in a point so you have it. So. Do what you want and also from this style you can take these and you can either wrap them around you can cross them over in the back and wrap them around each one of your ponytails to hide the rubber band and then yeah so this one's a little loose but you get the point so you have a little crossover section so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video it was real quick five different styles plus multiple variations of those five styles all in one hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up like i said i will leave the hair link down below um i appreciate you guys for watching subscribe if you want to see more videos coming up comments down below of any suggestions that you have for me also let me know which which um which hairstyle you like the best out of the five plus the a b c d of each one um and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video